Hey guys, Jen Cravasi with another quick tip at Jekyll Bates. I'm in the workshop this morning and we're over at the spray bench. Oftentimes, I can never find a brush with a thin enough tip to do the detailing that I want. Now, I do have a couple of brushes that I use frequently, but I have modified them and even the double zeros and sometimes the triple zeros aren't small enough for the detail work that I do on lures. So here are a couple of the brushes you can see that I've modified and just a super quick tip on how I get there. Two things. The first one involves just taking some scissors and whittling down. The only thing that you have to be careful of is that you don't take off too much with scissors because you can get that way in a hurry. What I prefer to do, and see now you have that nice thin tip. Make sure there's no extra fibers on there. And that should give you some really good fine detailing lines or dots once you load paint on there. The second thing I've been known to do, is if you have an X-Acto knife, or even if you have, pull that in just a little bit for you guys. Even if you have a sharp pocket knife or a good knife, you can just gently pull away the exterior here and get it down until you're happy with it. And just kind of move around the outside until you have a much thinner group of brush hairs and you can continue to put that down uh, get it down as thin as you want it again but just be mindful not to go too far and then just kind of pull any of that excess away and then when it has paint or any kind of liquid loaded onto it it's gonna be much thinner than it was. That's what I've got for you guys for the quick tip today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates. Awesome. This thing is awesome. Is that it, Malcolm? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> She's gonna mess around and lose it to a twenty pound striker here in a minute. Some things are worth doing. Huh? Some things are worth doing. <laughs>